listen up, IDW. Greetings, viewers and fellow Trekkies. This is Hanu Moonraiser here with a kind of side video he's been meaning to get to for a while and finally found the time to sit down and record. The concept is basic enough. The top five comic book ideas I really wish they would make for Star Trek. Big comic book enthusiast, big Star Trek enthusiast, so all around this is a pretty interesting topic for me. Before we begin, one thing to know is that I have refought my stance on... Uh, honorable mentions, with I had, which I have stated my detaste for uh, previously, which is kind of an odd thing to dislike, come to think of it. I really have grown, rethought the issue and have seen their purpose. In this case, it's to make the video last a bit longer. For each of the five suggestions, I will also give an honorable mention. A story idea I don't like quite as much as the main one I'm talking about, but one that I would also be very glad to see done. With that being said, let's get to the video proper. Number five would be a Voyager relaunch. In my opinion, the Trek show with the most wasted potential would be Star Trek Voyager. With such a great premise, it could have been the crowning jewel in the Trek universe. Instead, the writers kind of done mucked it up. So how about we give it another go, this time in the 2009 AU reboot set aboard a Constitution class Voyager. Voyager is a cooler name than Enterprise anyways. Considering that the Enterprise, and the comic's ongoing series at least, is currently itself stuck in the Delta Quadrant, however, we might have to throw Voyager a bit farther this time, all the way to another galaxy perhaps. Maybe now we can finally get some expansion on the Andromedans from TOS. The honorable mention this time around would be a miniseries focusing on the 2009 version of Mud, so we could flesh her character out a bit and even get a much more in-depth look at the Star Trek Underworld, a theme that may or may not actually exist and has always interested me. Number four would be a crossover between TNG and TOS. Yeah, they kind of already did the in Generations, but it was movie-era TOS, not TV show-era TOS, and only Kirk and Picard actually interacted. It'd be much cooler to see the TV show era crews proper, or perhaps movies for the TNG. Uh, after all, the Enterprise E is much cooler than the Enterprise D, my opinion at least. Don't crucify me for that. So let's let the entire crews and ships meet, work together, defeat some greater foe. An honorable mention in this case would be any crossover between two versions of Trek, be it DS9 and Voyager, or Enterprise and 2009 Reboot. Heck, throw some other franchises in there and we'll really get moving. Other franchises meaning anything but Planet of the Apes. Seriously, what were they thinking? But anyways, number three would be an expansion on TNG era Mirror Universe. Nothing against DS9, but to me, the big pull of the Mirror Universe was always the idea of the Benevolent Federation being the evil Terran Empire. And although the Empire, later on Empire depicted in DS9 is certainly cool and intimidating, it's not quite as intriguing as the one shown in the TOS era universe. So, a combination of TNG and Voyager, something along the lines of showing the Terran Empire remnants rebuilding in the Delta Quadrant and planning to come back and conquer the Klingons. A honorable mention in this case would be a story set around Empress Hosi Sato, earlier in the Mirror Universe, which would not only get us the aforementioned Terran Empire storyline, but would also give Star Trek Enterprise its first comic book iteration. Number two would be a series focusing on Captain Hiraka Sulu and the crew of the USS Excelsior. Credit for this idea actually goes to a really old Marvel comic book. My dad recently loaned me the use of some of his older Star Trek comics, hence why I finally got around to making this video, and in the letter columns in the back of one, it was actually suggested that Sulu get his own miniseries. And... I really like Sulu and think that would be a great idea. The Excelsior may be no Enterprise, but she's certainly a fine ship, and it really would be interesting to see Sulu and other characters such as Janice Ranch, uh, younger Tuvok, and even Sulu's daughter get more showing and in-depth explanations. Despite how not really fond I am of the TOS movie era. An honorable mention would be a series set around the Enterprise C, so we could get to know more about what is easily the least expanded upon ship to bear the name Enterprise, outside of the Enterprise J, of course. Number one, 
would obviously be a crossover between Wars and Trek, or a follow-up to Assimilation Mark II. However, crossovers really need a list of their own. So, for pure Trek, number one would be a story set in and around Star Trek Online. To be honest, STO is one of my favorite eras in Trek, and I think it's one of the most exciting. Although, to be honest, I currently have the game removed from my computer due to a rather bad case of rage quit. Stupid Cardassians. But nonetheless, it really would be cool to see this era expanded in comic book form. And not only in the case of the player characters, who here wouldn't want it to know more about the Enterprise F and her proud crew. An honorable mention would be a series set around the post-nemesis novel universe. Tython Pact would make a very interesting miniseries. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your ideas for comics below in the comment section where else would you put them? That's not important. This is Hanu Moonraiser, signing off. See you again soon.